heck is up you guys? Long time no talk. Well actually I've definitely been posting videos but it hasn't been a while since I've just sat down talked to you guys about my life and how I'm doing and if you can't tell I'm in a new atmosphere. I'm living in a new state, a new town, I'm going to a new school. Like life is crazy. Like things are happening. I'm just in a darn good mood right now. I'm just happy. I'm happy to be where I am. I am just happy. <laughs> I'm repping my now home which is Athens, Georgia. I absolutely love it here. It is so cute. For those of you guys who might not know, I'm going to the University of Georgia. I'm a freshman here now and I just went through sorority recruitment and I am now a Kappa Delta. Woo! And so now I'm living in Athens, Georgia and it's a good old time. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. It just felt a little far. <laughs> So I wanted to sit down and answer y'all's questions because you guys have been asking me so many questions like how's college, how's this, how is this, like what are your thoughts on this, like what's going on with this, like I just need to sit down and I was just going to sit down and just kind of ramble but then I was like I should probably answer the actual questions you're asking me so I just posted on my Instagram this fun picture of me in my dorm bed and I told you guys to comment down below your questions and we're at 214 and that was five minutes ago so let's see how many questions I can get through and for those of you who don't know I live in the dorm 24 7 but I did rent a small apartment here in Athens Georgia to be my filming studio because YouTube is my job and I'm paying for it with my own money and it's awesome it's been a great way for me to come and have my alone time and film videos because my dorms kind of always pop in and I don't want to interrupt my roommate so I'm always filming and stuff so it's better to do it here and I can just have my like nice little workspace it's honestly my office like I'm writing it off in my taxes so I just wanted to let you guys know that for the new viewers coming in that's why I have like a nice little bedroom here it's nothing much like it came furnished and everything um, but I just bought some decorations and stuff for filming so this is where I will film most of my videos I'll film a few videos in my dorm all right we are now at 260 questions so let's get started I'm excited to see what questions you guys have invalid page asks what's your favorite part about college so far dang I think my favorite part about college so far is that there's something going on at every single minute I mean it might be 2 a.m. there's something going on or you might have just woken up but there's some sort of club event going on or one of my friends is awake or there's just something always happening which I think is so cool because back home like you know it's always like okay what's going on tonight like what are we gonna do what's what are we doing today like there is just something always going on like you literally have no excuse to be bored here I also like just being able to like be in the dorm and like hang out with my friends and just like literally we'll stay up super late we'll order pizza to the dorm and do homework all together like it's just cool to like always be living with people but it's nice to also have my alone time aka why I have this <laughs> Kennedy Eldridge asks what are you majoring in. So as of now, I'm majoring in business, but really at UGA, you take most of your core classes your freshman year that don't necessarily pertain to your major. I'm taking a communications class, which I have to take, and I'm honestly loving that communications class, and I'm kind of considering maybe switching over to communications and kind of the whole marketing side because I am interested in business, but I don't love numbers, and I'm not really good at math, and I heard you have to take accounting, and I don't know if I could do that. I truly don't, and it's not even that. I just... I don't know if it's my full potential. What's your favorite thing about living on your own? I don't really know. I just think the idea of living alone is really cool and I can literally just do whatever I want. And it's not like I'm a really crazy, like irresponsible person. So it's nice to know like whatever happens, like it's because it's my fault. So I can't really blame other people. So it's like, I'm always like wanting to be disciplined and like, I don't really know. Does that make sense? What do you miss about home? Um, I think a big part of it is sometimes I'm just hungry and I don't want to walk over the dining hall. I just want my mom to bring me some soup. I think that's definitely something. And I also just really miss my dog. What was the hardest thing to get used to? That's a good question. I think just always being around people is something new. Like I'm used to just coming home and just like having my alone time. But with this, it's like there are people everywhere. There's going to be people you know everywhere. Just people are everywhere. How did you find your roommate? And I will be posting a roommate tag with my roommate. We're going to sit down and do that. We just want to clean up our dorm a little bit because we also want to do a dorm tour. So we're going to do that all in one day. But my roommate and I literally found each other on the UGA Facebook page. I posted a little bio like, hi, I'm Danielle. I like to watch The Bachelor and go to workout classes. And I go to bed around this time. Like I just kind of posted a little thing and she responded like right away and she was like OMG message me I literally remember that and I messaged her and we bonded like that like I think the next day we decided to room what was rushing like it was such a great experience I loved rush because it was so much fun getting to know so many different people and I bonded with so many people like when you're waiting in line to get to the next house like when you're in line waiting to go into the next house you make friends with the people in front of you behind you and it's kind of like a whole girl power movement because like girls are always needing band-aids for their blisters or you know we're all having to go to the bathroom it's just 
like it's just funny stuff but it's a great way to bond with people and it was just really great for your social skills like I can literally talk to a wall after a rush like you have to be able to make so many different conversations and I really enjoyed that but if you don't if you're kind of more of an introvert I don't know if rush is for you <laughs> how do you balance your social media life and your college experience um, a lot of people have been asking me that a lot of people ask me like oh when you go to college like you're not gonna do YouTube anymore right and I was like are you kidding <laughs> YouTube is my life and it's not just it's my job it's like what I literally love to do I started YouTube like seven or eight years ago because I enjoyed it and I still enjoy it to this day I chose to come here and film not because I had to because I wanted to I was very 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 heavily involved in high school I was literally at school until like 7 or 8 p.m. for musical rehearsals or play rehearsals and then I had stuff on the weekends like I was always really busy so if I could handle YouTube in high school I can definitely handle it in college. Like today, I only had two classes. I had an 8 a.m. and a 2 p.m. So between my 8 a.m. and my 2 p.m., I got filming done, I got emails done, I got homework done. Like, I'm pretty good at time management, so I like to think I'm okay. Can you describe a day at college and compare it to a day at high school? Hmm. Well, so I still have a lot of very early classes in college because I like to wake up early because it gets me started for my day. Um, the latest class I have is a 9.15. Like literally, I either have an 8 a.m. or a 9.15 every day. Um, but personally, it's really good for me. Sometimes it's a little hard to get up in the morning, but once I'm up, I'm up and I'm not sleepy and I'm not lazy and I'm just, I'm up for the day. Um, but I mean, I only have a couple classes a day, if that. So, you know, I think it's a little different because in high school, yes, in high school, I had to wake up at 6 a.m. to get to school by like 7.30 because my school was far and I had to get ready and there's traffic, all that fun stuff. So then I'd get to school, but then I'm at school until 3.20 and then if I had any extracurriculars, like I'm literally at school all day. Like there was times when I'd wake up at 6 a.m. and I didn't get home until like 8 or 9 p.m. Like that's crazy. With college, you might have a super early class, but then I'm over at 9.05 and my next class isn't until 2. So if I want, I can go back to my dorm, take a nap, or I can go to the dining hall. Like there's so many different options and you don't feel like you're stuck. Like you're always walking places. Like it's not like you're stuck in a school building all day, which I love. What is your favorite thing about Athens? My favorite thing about Athens is all the super cute boutiques. I was a little bit worried about there not being like a really good mall around here, but then I was like, one, I have Atlanta an hour and a half away. And then I was like, two, Athens has the super most cute boutiques ever and they carry a lot of brands that I love and they're always getting new stocks in and new shipments. So it's like, and there's like five or six or seven really nice boutiques so it's not like you'd get bored of it how are you doing being away from your family um it hasn't really hit me yet to be honest i think it's because i traveled a lot this summer like there was weeks and weeks that i wouldn't be home um so i'm kind of used to it but i, I know it's gonna hit me very soon um but i facetime my parents almost every day or at least talk to them on the phone every day or every two days like I talked to my dad on the phone while I was getting ready earlier and my dad's actually driving up this week because he's off so he's driving up for a couple days and helping me hang up anything else that I need in my dorm, helping me with my apartment, you know whatever it may be and he's actually going to stay in my apartment obviously so when my parents come to visit they can stay here, they have a free place to stay and we it's an 8 hour drive back home to Tampa, Florida so my parents can really come up often like my dad loves road trips so like he'll probably come up a lot. So I'm not necessarily worried about that, it's definitely weird not seeing them every day but it hasn't, I don't know, it hasn't been weird yet. I I just know it's gonna be weird. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like I feel like I'm at camp or I'm on vacation. How do you make friends in college? So one thing that I think is really cool about starting at a new college, a new place, is everyone else is starting out fresh too. When you're a freshman, every single other person is in the same boat as you. So in your first few weeks, if not months of college, it is socially acceptable to introduce yourself to people randomly. Like it is like now the time because we're all in the same boat. No one necessarily has their like friend group yet. You might think that, but people want friends. Everyone wants to create this amazing community and you just have to be willing to. So like during rush week, like if I liked a girl's shoes, I'ma tell her, I'm gonna ask her where they're from and then you make a conversation from that. And you also make friends in your classes when you're bonding about how badly you don't want to be there or how you're worried about the homework or then maybe you get their number because you might need help later. It's just like a really great time to like really go at it and it's okay to like randomly introduce yourself or like what's your name? Like it's okay because we're all starting out the same. All in all, I am so happy here at UGA. Everything feels right. I haven't felt any sense of homesickness yet. But again, I'm only on my third week of college. Like it's definitely gonna hit me soon. Um, but I'm really thankful because I have already started to make 
really great friends like I have never laughed harder in the past three weeks like it's crazy like I have just met some amazing girls and we've shared such amazing stories and I feel like I've known them forever which is really darn weird um, so I'm really thankful for the experience so far everything's going great the only thing I've had trouble with honestly is getting to class because there are some hills at UJ, I tell you. Like, you might, it might say it's an eight minute walk, but you've gotta walk fast up those hills because it hurts, man. And I haven't gained any weight yet. I've actually lost three pounds, and I swear it's because I am just walking so much. Like, I have just never walked more in my life, and it's probably good for me, honestly. Or there's times when I'm like running to class up a hill. Like, that is a workout, I am telling you. And I also found a super good smoothie place in downtown Athens called Arden's Garden. It is so good. I get the Kale Slam smoothie thanks to Brooke. She recommended it to me. Oh, another thing. I go to school with my best friends, Brooke Mincio now, which is awesome. Like literally the other day I was leaving class and she was walking into class and we just bumped into each other. Like just casually running into Brooke. Like it's so weird going to school with her, but like I love it. It's so awesome. We actually just got to travel together. So that was really fun. And it's nice to know that I have someone else to help me film and someone else that gets it, you know, so. It's pretty great. But yeah, that's all the questions I'm going to answer for now. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for following me along on this crazy journey. Comment down below any videos that you want to see on my channel. I've got some time to film, so I want to film some vids for you. Some upcoming events that I will be at. I will be at Playlist Live DC Labor Day weekend. I will be in Dallas for StyleCon, which you need to purchase tickets for. So I'll be at StyleCon on Saturday, September 23rd. I'll be at StyleCon in Orange County, California on November 4th. So yeah, those are the events that I will be going to soon, and I'd love to meet you guys there. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.